Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. And welcome to June's family life. As you can see, I have my f lovely family here. I have my husband Mike, my eldest daughter Brianna, my youngest daughter Julia, and my son Cheeto. Say hi, Cheeto. And uh, without further ado, we're going to be talking about some food and reviewing food. Um, and so, drinks. And drinks. So. Who, take it away, Mike. All right. So we bought some food from the dollar store and on sale from the grocery store. So we're going to taste test it and let you guys know how, how it goes. First, we're going to, we got these drive through burgers at the grocery store. These were $1.29. So we got two chicken burgers and two of the bacon cheeseburgers. And yeah. these normally sell in the, in the U.S. at Dollar Tree for one, for $1. Yeah. We, they were normally in Canada. They're two seventy-seven, but we got these for a dollar twenty-nine through price match on a flyer. So we're gonna try those. Okay. And next we got at the dollar store, two dollars each. We got two packages of these tasteful corn on the cob. They're just on the shelf in the refrigerator or anything. So oh, we've that? never seen this before, but uh, these are to be put in the microwave. So, so they're gonna, so it's actual corn on the cob. Yep, no sugar added, non-GMO, no preservatives. So okay. We're going to try these out, and eat, everyone's going to get a cob and see how it. Yeah, how it see if it's worth it. Okay. Yeah. What's next? Chips. We got some of these chips from Shoppers Drug Mart. They were two dollars each. But they're the experimental flavors. But they want you to try and vote on them, so we got one of each. We got the Montreal smoked meat. And the cowboy BBQ beans from Lay's. And we got butter chicken. And the last one. And we got uh, PEI, PEI scalloped potatoes. So these chips are, we're going to try them and see if they actually taste like they're supposed to. And we'll vote on it on their website afterwards. And to wash it all down, we got some mm -hmm. drinks from the dollar. The Dollar Tree. Yes. For a dollar twenty-five, you get a two-point-five liter uh, Shasta pop. This one's Tiki Punch, and we've got the orange. You want to take that brief? So you Shasta. Can hold it. So we'll use it. We'll taste test these to and wash down our other food with it. All right. So we're gonna get started making this up, and then we'll come back and try it out. All right. So we're back with our food that we cooked. Uh, first, we're going to try the, the burgers, the chicken burger and the bacon cheeseburger. And we've got our orange Shasta to wash it down. So, let's All right. See. Which what one do we start? Yeah. Okay. So, the chicken burger. Chicken? I put some, a little bit of mayo on mine because there's, there's no condiments on it at all. It's just a bare chicken burger. So it looks pretty good, though. It looks like it. Put it in the microwave for one minute. Okay. So, if you want to try that. Okay, mine is just plain. Mine too. Plain chicken. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's see if it, if it tastes like. Yeah, it's like a chicken burger. Mm -hmm. You could use more mayo. It's kind of dry. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Ah, because you nuke it. It's dry on the edges. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. That's good. It's a cheap uh, lunch for sure. Anything, Julie, you like it? Shasta. Okay. All right. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Yep. Tastes like Fanta. Tastes like Fanta a little bit, yeah. Pretty good for a dollar twenty-five for that big bottle. That's good. It's lighter than Fanta, though. Right. It's like a punchy. It's like if you buy like an orange type of punch. Yeah. And when you add uh, soda to it, soda. Uh, Water, but it's right. good. It's a light, light, refreshing drink. Okay. Okay. We're doing the other Let's one now. Let's try the other one now. Yeah. So we got the bacon cheeseburger. It's yep. got bacon on it. It's got cheese on it. I put a little bit of Coop's mustard. Which is Coop's mustard. Also from the Dollar Tree. The Coop's mustard, deli mustard. Very good. So let's try it. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 
just tastes exactly like a bacon cheeseburger you would get from a McDonald's, I think. It does. It tastes good. Yeah. Mm. It's got the cheese on it, and yeah. it's got bacon. It's very good. I think it's better than the chicken bacon. burger. Bacon and, and oh, it's cheese, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I definitely recommend the cheeseburger, the bacon cheeseburger from the, from the drive-thru. So I guess we're going to finish these up and then come back and do our corn, taste test our corn. Yep. Oh, and the, and the punch tiki. The Hawaiian you know, tiki punch. All right, we're back. We got our corn, corn on the cup. It's actually from Thailand. It's in on the package, so it'll be interesting. Let's see if it tastes good or not. And we got our Shasta Tiki Punch. So let's try our corn on the cob. Just two minutes in the microwave for two for two cobs at a time. So. You know what it smells like? It smells like. It smells like yeah. Cream, uh, the cream creamy corn. corn what is yeah. it? Cream corn? Yeah. Cream corn from a can. Yeah, it smells just like. It's it. what it smells like, and yeah. yeah. So. Right, take a bite. Right. All right, take a bite. I don't know about this corn, guys. I mean, freeze dried, it looks like. But we'll see. I wish for you to eat. What do you think? Is it good? Tastes like corn. It does taste like cream corn. It tastes sweeter than regular corn. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. Maybe in Thailand, their older corn tastes like that. I don't know. Mm. Um. Hmm. Interesting. It's like having a can of cream corn, but on the cob. On the cob, yeah. <laughs> it's good it's for like two. Normal, I like it. I don't know, for two dollars, you can get like fresh corn at the supermarket for when it's on sale for that same price. So I don't know if it's worth it. Well, store, I guess if you really want to experience corn on the cob, maybe in when yeah. it's out of season. All right, let's try our Shasta. To, I don't quite like it too much. Punch. It smells like it's cherry. Like a fruit punch or some sort. Mm -hmm. Like a fruit punch. Right? That cherry. Yeah, like a cherry hits you. Yeah, there's a strong cherry to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's not, it doesn't taste anything like the Hawaiian punch I've, I've had before. But it's very heavy cherry taste. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I prefer the orange one. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's really a cherry punch. It's not it's, Hawaiian at all. Well, if you love cherries, then you would love, probably love this. It's like a cherry drink. Definitely the orange is better. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, oh, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't like buy this. that. I wouldn't buy that again. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to finish up our corn and I uh, guess dump down our, we don't like our drinks, <laughs> get rid of our drinks. Yeah. Then we're going to try our chips, our four flavors of chips. All right, so we're back with our chips. We're going to try four chips, starting with the Montreal smoked meat from Lay's. So, we want to smell it first. I don't, know, I don't really smell much smoked meat from that. Uh, not much. Mm. Do you it smells smell? good, though. No, it just smells like regular potato chips. Right. So, okay. I guess everyone take some chips. Right. And Let's try it. What it looks, looks like. It's regular. It's regular. Yeah. You, you know what? If you smell the chip mm -hmm. individually, it smells like a meat, like a smoked meat. Mm -hmm. yeah, like but you gotta hold it up to your nose. It's definitely like a meaty taste to it. It does? Yeah. And I also taste the mustard, which I don't quite like mustard. Mustard, yeah. I love I don't mustard. Like mustard. So it's just having a smoked meat sandwich with mustard. Mm -hmm. It's not a heavy flavor, it's light, light, light. Mm. It's okay, I don't quite like it too much. It's too light, like I wouldn't buy it as a regular I chip. don't really taste much of it. Mm -hmm. It's got... The more you very, eat, the less you taste of it. it that's right, yeah. that's correct, that's correct. Yeah. It's very light, there's not... Let me try one more just to see. Just to... Oh, <laughs> crap, that's too big for me. You want that one? Here. Just to try. You didn't try another one just to see? 
Yeah, I definitely want to take the bottom. I don't, I, yeah, go from the bottom. I don't know if I, again, it doesn't have much of a taste and a flavor. Mm. It's like a right. No, not much to it. I, I'm tasting a little bit of, um, like spices, but it's very faint. All I taste is mustard, and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it comes yeah. out. What about you, Julia? Near the end. Mustardy. Mustardy? Okay. All right, I don't quite like on that. The next one. The next one we have here is PEI scalloped potatoes. Okay. So this looks like a cheese, like a au gratin scalloped potato, like a cheesy. Looks really good. Like a cheesy baked potato. Cheesy, yeah. Scalloped potato. All right. It doesn't really have much of a smell. Okay, I'm gonna put my. Now, I'm gonna smell. Not much of a smell. Hold this mic and grab a. It's got like a, a cheesy smell, and that's what it looks like there. It's got a strong flavor. It's salty and cheesy. I don't like much of a strong flavor. It's like a cheesy. It's like a cheesy chip. I like the, yeah, it's like a, like a cheddar chip or something. Yeah, this this one has more taste to it. It's salty and cheesy. The oh. other one, the smoked meat, wasn't even salty. It was just, I don't know, plain. I like it. Next, butter chicken. Mm, my favorite. I love butter chicken. Butter Where? chicken. All right. I like the smell of the packaging. Mmm, smells good. Okay, smell it. It tastes like butter chicken. Oh, it has like a spicy smell to it. I love yeah. spicy smell. That's what it looks like. Let's taste it. Okay. Mmm. Mm. It doesn't taste much like chicken, but it has lots of spice. Tastes like it's the butter chicken sauce, though. It, it tastes like barbecue to me. Definitely Indian taste. It has the Indian mm. spices to Definitely. it. So far, this is my best one. Yeah. I don't really, there's no smell to it. Mm -hmm. And then the last say? one is the cowboy baked, or barbecue bean. <clears throat> this one looks, it has a lot of like flavor on to it. Yeah. It's wavy it's too. It's rippled, yeah. Does it say it's rippled? Oh it's yeah, beans. right here. I don't quite like beans. <laughs> you don't see, like beans? See how it tastes. Yeah, this has a beady barbecue smell, and it is rippled. It shows on there. It's yeah, rippled on that rippled. bag. That's what it looks like. Got it. You can see the flavor. I like can yeah. see the spices on it. Yeah, the, this this smells like beans and barbecue. It does taste like it. Yeah. Beans and barbecue is what I smell. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, a beanie barbecue taste. This one then Seems after like we got our votes all set. <laughs> My favorite is the butter chicken. That's what I'm voting for. Mine too. Julia, which one are you voting for? What's that one? Did Montreal smoke, smoke meat? Smoke meat? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna vote for this one here. You're gonna vote for the PEI. Yeah. Okay. So that's so there's going to be a vote. So which is the fail then? I guess uh, the barbecue. Nobody voted for the barbecue. No. no. That's a, a second place of it. <laughs> so, okay. All right. So that's, that's it for our food testing. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe. And remember, life, life is always an adventure. Till next time. Bye. Bye.